This is a quick tutorial on how to use labels to categorise participants on the online record book. Labelling for participants on the online record book can be used to tag or identify subgroups within an award centre. Once labels are created and applied to relevant participants, it can be used for participant searches and ORB list sorting. This tutorial will show you how to create, apply and view participant labels. Creating a label to categorise participants can be done through My Organisation. Select the Labels tab and then the blue New Label button. Create a name for your label, keeping it to less than 20 characters. and a brief description so that it makes sense for everyone in your organisation. And then select Create. All labels created by the award leader will show in this tab. Please note that there is no check for duplications or near matches with the label names. So the naming of labels and how they are used will need to be considered by all award leaders and staff in the award centre. If the labels need to be edited or deleted at a future time, both can be done within this tab. Once labels are created, there are three ways in which they can be assigned to participants. In the to-do list, in the participant list or within a participant's individual account. Within the registration tab, labels can be assigned as a bulk action before registrations are accepted. Once you have selected assign labels from the bulk operations drop down, Tick the boxes of the participants you wish this to apply to. And select Bulk Change. Then you'll get the list of labels that have been created for your award centre. Select and assign. Once those registrations have been approved by the award leader, the labels will show in the participant list. You can also add labels to participants within the participant list. In the same way they were applied on the registrations page. Selecting assign labels from the bulk operations drop down list and then selecting any participants that you wish to apply the label to, bulk change, the right label and assign. And you can see that those labels have now been applied. Please note that when applying labels as a bulk action, there is currently an issue whereby any tick boxes on a page will not be retained when moving from one page to the next before adding the bulk action. So it's recommended at this point for any bulk actions applied to the participant list that the page view is changed to viewing 50 records to maximise the number of records that can be selected per page. Once all of the relevant records have been ticked, then press the blue bulk change button before moving on to the next page, if there is one. The third place that you can apply a label for a participant is within a participant's details tab. So you need to select an individual participant. So we're in their details tab, 
scroll down and select the relevant label. The wording of the label will not show anywhere on the participant's account. It will only show within the award leader's view. Removing labels. Labels can only be removed on an individual basis, not via bulk action. Within the participant detail, labels can be removed by the X symbol. Any label can be removed or added by any award leader within the award centre. Viewing labels. Once assigned, labels can be viewed in one of three places. Within the details tab of the participant record, which we just saw, under participants, in my participants or all participants, to show only the participants with a certain label applied, there is a labels filter at the top of the participant page. Select the label for the participants you would like to view and then the blue filter button. Only the participants tagged with a selected label will show in the participant list until the filter is cleared of the selection. The labelling information is also available in a number of reports. The reports that you be able to see the label information against the participant are mainly in the award, a participant award progress, award completion, current active award, participants including payment status, voluntary services summary report, and also the export list report on the participant list view. Within the participant list, once you have selected your labels, there is a export table. Which will give you an Excel spreadsheet 